Sup guys, uh, again coder challenge uh, from coder Pipe this time around we will get an easy one, alphabet uh, suit. Uh, for this challenge we will be sorting characters in the string. So let's dive in. Alphabet soup. Have the functional alphabet soup takes a string a parameter being passed and returns string with letters in alphabetical order. For example, hello, we'll get E H L L. Okay. Uh, assume numbers and punctuation symbols will not be included in string. Uh, in string. So we're dealing only with, uh, yeah, letters. Still, can the question well if it's lowercase, uppercase? Again, it's not clear, just in general. So yeah, we have a few out inputs, outputs. So we will go. To, let's see what we we'll, uh, what we can do here. So we'll go with JavaScript in this case. So let's see. Let's throw in some implementations. So yeah, we can do as usually as this one. It's easy. Uh, it could be one liner, but again, break it down with commands just to make sure that we uh, truly understand what's going on you guys uh, who is looking to, into the details. So first we'll split our string into array of, of individual characters. So this is kind of almost go to from when we deal with uh, text in JavaScript and again other languages. In this case it's split. So, so we'll use a, a string at, uh, as the determiner. So, uh, so we'll split it and receive again array. After that, we will go with sorting of characters in alphabet order using sort. So from this perspective, we just don't need to worry and I believe it will cover lower and upper cases uh, at the same uh, way. Uh, also, or if not, I would say we will introduce just new functions that will do, uh, let's say, lowercase at the beginning and we'll treat this all as lowercase as a kind of uh, precaution. Um, so we will uh, uh, join this after that uh, when we sorted this array, we'll sort a array of characters again back to string because again ask to not have just array of individual characters but have it um, as a string. So in this case as we got split here, in this case we will use join function. So uh, uh, as we got our variables or constant riser here, We'll do join and again a separator, no separator. So we'll concatenate everything as is. So we'll run uh, and again and return it. So let's see with our two test cases. Correct, correct. And probably we should be safe with submission here. All right. Then completed and we uh, we good here. So it looks like upper lower case wasn't the, the case here and uh, we should be good. So again, uh, it's, uh, again, as I mentioned, it could be definitely combined in one string. So we will not introduce additional kind of variables if needed. But again, for better understanding, we have better commented code here. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions or requests to any other challenges in other languages or other systems uh, for, for uh, uh, interviewing and such assessment just let me know in comment please subscribe and like and see you guys in the next one thank you bye bye